Hi there, just going to take us a walk around the 62 kilowatt hour uh, Nissan Leaf. So it's the biggest battery version uh, of the Nissan Leaf uh, and it will give you a good sort of 200 miles worth of driving range depending on your driving style and, your time, and the time of year you're driving. Um, this is a 3.0 which is basically the top spec techno, techno model. Um, so it's got all the spec in it, um, other stats on this car. Let's see, it's done um, 26,000 miles and it's going to be going out with a fresh service and a fresh MOT. So nothing to worry about for ages on this car. Um, it's in lovely condition, there's barely a mark on it and it's also, I, I think it's quite nice. I, I do like it in the white and this one in particular has got some additional kind of uh, blue detailing on it which I think makes it look even more snazzy. Um, makes it look like a well, modern electric car. Anyway, I'll go around the car and I'll, um, like I say, I'll, I'll point out any, any little noteworthy marks that I think uh, of any interest. Nice blue wing mirror casings, that's a special thing. And then you've got the blue detailing down the bottom of the door as well. So those are your sort of your, your three zero specialties on the white versions. Okay, both alloys down that side are fine. So there isn't really a mark on the car, so I don't, I don't think there's going to be much to say. I'm hoping I might find a little stone chip or something somewhere, so at least I can point something out. Um, in reality, I don't think there's really anything. Again, both the alloys on this side are fine. Uh, I'm sure maybe there's going to be a, a little stone chip somewhere on the bonnet and the bumper. Not that it's done that many miles, but I imagine there's something, although God be honest, nothing really stands out. I mean, I mean, there you have it. I haven't really actually been able to find out anything, even something minor to point out, which is always a very good sign. So, and here you have this is the, the Techno interior. Um, although they refer to this as a 3.0. So you've got these lovely full leather seats, they're heated front and rear, you've got electronic handbrake, you've got a Bose sound system, 360 degree camera system, Nissan's Pro Pilot driving system, heated steering wheel, um, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, loads of spec. Like I said, there, there, there isn't really much this car is, is, is lacking, including a self-driving mode in certain conditions. Uh, and condition-wise, you know, the, the interior sort of mirrors the outside. All very, very nice. It's like a new car, really. Uh, you've got a boot liner in there as well. That's a nice little extra touch. You know, goes to show someone ready to care for this vehicle a lot. Um, yeah, so nothing much report in there. Nice, decent-sized boot. In that boot, we will, of course, be putting a three-pin charging lead, so this car will come supplied with a lead that you can use to uh, charge off any normal domestic main socket, so you don't even necessarily need to get a charge point installed. Uh, at least not initially, anyway. And there you have it. Do you know, if you're looking for a, a decent long-range EV, high-quality car with lots of spec, you know, the, the 62 kilowatt leaf is, uh, is ideal. If you're looking for a really, really supremely nice example, then this is the perfect car. And it's here on the forecourt, ready for a test drive or viewing. Uh, alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Um, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out our uh, Nissan Leaf content on our website and our YouTube channel. Hopefully, you'll find that useful, and hopefully, we'll speak to you soon.